The strange saga of Robert Durst, the multimillionaire who is a suspect in a series of deaths and disappearances, is about to get stranger. Next week, Durst will plead guilty to a gun charge and begin the process that will ultimately land him in a courtroom on trial for the murder of his best friend. 48 Hours, Aaron Moriarty has more. Susan Berman and Robert Durst, who met in college, remained friends for 33 years until Christmas Eve 2000, when police say he shot and killed her. Now, 72 year old Durst is pushing to be in a California courtroom by August to prove his innocence. Like O.J. Simpson, Robert Blake, and the man who called himself Clark Rockefeller, his trial will likely cause a sensation. Why does Robert Durst want to go to California? It sounds crazy that he would actually want to face a murder trial. Well, it's not for the weather. It's because he's innocent. He did not kill Susan Berman. Attorney Dick DeGuerin also defended Durst back in 2003 in Galveston, Texas. Durst was charged with killing his neighbor, Morris Black, and dismembering the body. The evidence against him was overwhelming, says former Westchester County, New York, District Attorney Janine Pirro. You know, this guy is a murderer. He cuts up bodies like your local butcher. But the jury believed Durst's claim of self-defense and acquitted him. Not guilty. Isn't it possible that if he goes on trial for Susan Berman, he'll get away with it again? I hate to say, yes, it's possible. But I believe in justice. I believe in truth. How about this? I believe in karma. Sooner or later, it's got to happen. Ever Moriarty has been covering Durst for more than a decade. She joins us live. You're both a lawyer and a journalist. If Robert Durst's incriminating mumblings is hearsay, how could it be admissible at trial, many are asking, Erin. Well, you know, from the jinx, there is this time when supposedly he goes into the bathroom and says, you know, what did I do? Killed them all, of course. Um, and according to the DA, the former DA in, in Los Angeles, that would normally be hearsay, but there are exceptions. And when you have an admission against interest, that could let it in. But I think there's a real question whether that will actually get in, because it's not clear what he's, he said. Everyone thinks he said, killed them all. He may have said killed them all, which really makes a very big difference in the meaning. So I think because it's a little vague, I think there will be a real battle about getting that in the courtroom. Aaron, Aaron Moriarty, thank you so much. And you can watch on 48 Hours tomorrow night right here on CBS2 at a special time beginning at 8 o'clock.